So uh, all you need for today's workout is a light set of dumbbells and a single heavier dumbbell or kettlebell. I'm using five pound dumbbells and then a 15 pound kettlebell. <clears throat> Just use whatever you've got at home. So we're gonna get started here with our warm up. So we're gonna start with gentle round the world lunges. So starting coming with to a lunge in front, raising your arms overhead, back up, lunging to the side, arms out to the side, and then lunging to the rear. Arms can either go back or up, whatever's comfortable for you. Other leg goes back, out to the side, and to the front. So as you all know, same format as every class, about five minute warm up, then a 12 minute full body hit circuit, six exercises in the circuit. We do every exercise for 30 seconds with a 10 second break and we go through those six exercises three times for a total of 12 minutes. So we'll do two 12 minute full body circuits, eight minutes of core and then 10 to 15 minutes of yoga. So last time we're going around the world here, we're gonna start with some booty blasters. So you can hang onto the wall if you want. We're gonna do kickbacks on one leg. So keeping your leg straight, driving your heel up to the sky, we're gonna do 10. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now bring your knee up. We're gonna do fire hydrants, keeping that knee bent for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it up there. Thigh stays parallel to the floor. We're hinging from the knee for ninja kicks for ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Same thing on the other side, starting with ten kickbacks. Especially when we have a little bit heavier weight that we're working with. We really want to make sure, Declan, leave that well alone. We really want to make sure our glutes are firing properly. So into ten fire hydrants. One. Couple more here. Eight. Nine, 10, hold it up there for 10 ninja kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Going into fast ski lunges across our mat. Picking up the pace here. Declan figured out how to turn on the tap on the well so it just sprays water everywhere. And now that's his favorite pastime. <laughs> we'll come outside to a giant puddle in the yard. Good. Trying to pick up the pace if you can. Traveling as far laterally as possible. You can see a big glare on my screen over here, so hopefully you guys can see me okay. Keep it going. A few more seconds. And we're gonna come into jumping jacks. So either regular jumping jacks, or if you need to take out the impact, just go side to side with your feet. Now we're gonna change it up into X jacks. So every other one, our arms are gonna come out in front of us. Then back up to a regular jack. Getting our shoulders warmed up. Good. A few more seconds here. Last one. Our arms behind your head. Elbow to knee. Nice and fast. Staying on this one side the whole time. More seconds here and we'll switch sides. And switch. Nice and fast. Fifteen more seconds. Okay, grab a drink of water. I'm gonna go through and demo our first round of exercises, so either copy along with me or maintain a bit of a boxer shuffle. 
or a side step so you keep your warm up. So our first exercise is gonna be a long jump with a jump turn, so coming to straddle your mat at one end. We're gonna do a great big long jump to the other end, jump and turn, jump this way, jump and turn back and forth. And we're gonna grab our heavier weight, holding it at your chest. We're gonna do pulse or squats. So coming into a nice, low, deep squat, we're gonna stay down here and pulse the whole time. You can come up to take a break at any time, but if you can, try to stay low and keep pulsing. <clears throat> Sorry. Then we're gonna come down on our back with our heavier weight again. Weight is in one hand. We're gonna do a glute bridge while we simultaneously do a chest press on one hand. So as we come up, feet are nice and close to your bum, using your glutes to drive your hips up to the ceiling. As you come up, we're gonna press with your weight, coming back down. We're gonna stay on this same side for the whole 30 seconds. If you really feel your hamstrings taking over instead of your glutes, you can do a frog-legged glute bridge like we did in Monday's class and come up this way with your knees out to the side. <clears throat> then we're gonna have our right leg in front. We're gonna do a skip with a stutter step. So I'm going to drive my left knee up, come back for a stutter step, up, stutter step. So we're gonna stay on the right leg for 15 seconds, then we'll switch sides and do the other leg for 15 seconds. Takes a little bit of <laughs> mental capacity here. So you might wanna try that one to get the feel of it before we get going. Then we're gonna grab our heavier weight again. It's gonna come in between our feet. We're gonna start with a deadlift. So weight is between your feet, hinging at the hips, Slight bend to your knees so that you can pick up your weight. You're gonna extend first through your knees, keeping your hips hinged till that weight gets to about knee height, then extend through the hip with a nice clench at the top. You can either stay here just with our standard deadlift, or you can bring your weight up at the top of the deadlift, into a squat, back down to a deadlift. Whichever you prefer. And then our last one is a glute bridge with a chest press on the other hand. So we're gonna get started. Our first one is a long jump with a jump turn. So get yourself set up. Declan, stop throwing that dirt around, please. Declan, Declan, can you hear me? Pick up all that dirt and put it back in the hole. Maybe outside wasn't the best idea, but here we are, we're here now. So I'm gonna get our timer started. Get set up at the end of your mat for our long jumps with a jump turn on the buzzer. Here we go, big jump, jump turn. Big jump the other way, jump and turn. Whew. Landing nice and soft with those knees on every jump. Whew. 10 seconds left. Maddie, leave your food alone. Last one. Okay, into our pulsar squats. So pick up your heavier weight, holding it at chest height. We're gonna come into a nice deep squat and pulse there. Here we go, getting low, little pulses. Making sure your chest is high, not caving over this way. Come up out of this anytime you need to. Otherwise, we're just gonna stay here and pulse. 10 seconds left. And we're gonna come down onto our mat for a glute bridge with the chest press with the right arm. Five seconds, stay low if you can. Good, so coming down to your mat. Heels are nice and close to your bum. Weight is in your right hand. As your hips come up, we're pressing with that right arm. Always good to do unilateral movements so we can see if we have weaknesses anywhere. Single arm movement, single leg movement. Keep it going. If your heavy weight gets too heavy at any point, grab one of your lighter weights. Come on up. We're going into a skip with a stutter step. So we're gonna start with our right leg forward. 
Left leg is back. So for the 15 seconds, we're skipping off of that right leg. Stutter step, back into a skip. Try to get going nice and fast once you get the feel of it. One more on this leg. Now switch the other leg. Picking up that pace. As soon as you get the momentum here going. Good, into our gobbler or our deadlift, sorry. Adding a squat at the top if you want to. Starting with that weight between our feet. Here we go. Extend through the knees, then through the hips. If you want to bring it up and squat, go for it. Or just stay with a standard deadlift. Good. Making sure you're coming back down with good get deadlift form. So extending through the knees first, then through the hips. After this, we're coming down for our glute bridge with a chest press in the left hand. So weight, heels are nice and close to your bum again. Weight is in the left hand. Right arm can be extended out to the side for balance. You're pressing up at the same time that your hips are coming up. This is the last one in the circuit. Then we're starting from the top with our long jump and a jump turn. Driving through your heels, clenching those glutes to get your hips high. Good. Come on up. Set your weight aside for our long jumps. Okay, so big jump forward, jump turn, other way. If the jump is too much, you can always just take it to air squats. Nice, fast, good form air squats. Five seconds left here. Good, grabbing your weight for our pulsar squats. She's over here, guarding your food. So waves at chest, getting low, nice and low here. Little pulses. I know what Stefan doing down there. You can come on up for a break, anytime you need to, and then come back down and pulse. 10 seconds left, you got this guys. Then we're going to our glute bridge with a chest press on the right arm. Last few seconds. Good, coming down to your mat. Weight is in the right hand. Spill a bunch of water. Heels nice and close to your bum. Pressing up as your hips come up. Good. Remember you can always bring your feet together and let your knees drop out to the side for a frog-legged glute bridge. You can feel your hamstrings taking over a lot here. Good. Set that weight aside. We're going into a skip with a stutter step. We'll start with the right leg forward again. If you get a little bit lightheaded coming up from the floor, take an extra few seconds to catch your breath. Switch legs. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Takes a second to get your bearings on the other side. Nice and quick. Last one. Good. Our deadlift with a goblet squat if you want to. Weight is between your feet. Stand through the knees, then through the hips into a squat if you want to, or just keep it in a deadlift. Good. 
Good. Good deadlift forward on the way down as well. So first the hips, then the knees. Nice clench of the glutes at the top. Good. Glute bridge with the chest press on the other side now. Weight is in the left hand. I'm gonna do mine frog legged this time. The weight is coming up at the same time as your hips are coming up. Again, if the weight gets too heavy, you can always grab one of your lighter dumbbells. Last few seconds. Then we're starting again from the top with our long jump into a jump turn. Last time through this one. At the end of your mat, here we go. Big jump, jump turn. Other way. Landing nice and soft. Ten seconds left. This one's pulling you, Isla. Into our pulse or squat. Grabbing your heavy weight. And pulsing low with me, or come up anytime you need to. Here we go, getting low. Last time we're doing these ones, making sure that chest stays high. Okay, go feed the animals, or go water the animals. 15 seconds left, guys. Stay low if you can. These ones burn. You got this. Five seconds. Then we're on our backs for our glute bridge chest press with the right arm. Whew, shake up those legs. Coming on your mat. I'm gonna do it frog legged again. I like the frog legged ones. Hips are high as the weight comes up. If you're doing it frog legged, your heels are still nice and close to your bum. Your knees are just falling out to the side. And still getting that clench of the glutes to drive those hips to the ceiling. Good. Almost there. And then we're coming up to our skip with a stutter step. So drop your weight. We'll start with the right leg forward again. Catching your breath if you're a little lightheaded, coming up from the floor. up the pace. This is the last time we're doing this one. And switch your lead leg. Pump in with those arms. Trying to get high in that skip. Last second. Good. Grabbing your weight into either just deadlifts or a deadlift with a squat. Two more exercises here. Here we go. Good, clench of the glutes at the top of both your deadlift and your squat. Last five seconds, and then we're down on the floor for our last exercise, a glute bridge with a chest press on the left side. Last 30 seconds here, and we'll take a break. Here we go. Legs are either in a regular glute bridge or frog-legged. I like to go to frog-legged when I start to get fatigued, because then it forces your glutes to be the main mover here instead of your hamstrings. Trying to get those hips high. Almost there. Let's take a good break here in a few seconds. Whew. Grab a drink of water. Walk yourself around. 
try to bring our heart rates down a little bit before we start the next cycle, circuit. Hey guys, if you're gonna dig it, I like that one. Look at me. If you're gonna dig in the dirt, that's okay. Just keep the dirt off the grass. Okay? Okay, so this is still your rest time. Oh, do I have a message from someone? <clears throat> This is still your rest time. I'm just gonna go through and demo our next round of exercises. So we're gonna need our lighter weights as well for this circuit. <clears throat> we're gonna start with a renegade row burpee. So holding your weights, you're gonna be in a high plank position. You're going to, while keeping your hips level as possible, row one arm up, put it down, row the other arm up, jump forward and jump up, and then back down, for a row, row, jump your feet forward, and jump. You can either leave your weights on the floor or pick them up with you when you do your jump, whatever you prefer. <clears throat> then either with your lights or your heavy weights, whatever works for you, we're gonna do an alternating lateral lunge with a halo. So you're gonna lunge out to the side, inside leg stays straight, outside leg is bending. You're gonna hold down here, take that weight, circle it around your head, come back up, Lunge the other side and circle the weight around your head in the other direction. So think about clockwise one on, on one leg and counterclockwise on the other leg. We're gonna alternate back and forth. Then with our light weights, we're gonna go into shoulder blasters. So we're gonna do five lateral raises, five forward raises. Then we're gonna hinge at the hips for five rear delt flies. And then we're gonna finish with as many Arnold's as we can. So our weight will, weights will be at shoulder height, up, press them up, come back down, elbows together, back out, up, down, together. So we might only get two, we might get five Arnold's, we'll see how much time we have at the end of the 30 seconds. <clears throat> Excuse me. So then we're gonna come strat on one side of our mat. We're gonna jump to the other side, set our step on that side, jump back this way. So it'll look like this. Jump. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Try to get your knees nice and high as you're jumping. Then we're gonna take our heavy weight again. We're gonna hold it at chest height. You can also do this with your light weights. We're gonna squat down, and as we come up, we're gonna press our weight to the ceiling. Squat thrusters. So either with your single heavy dumbbell or holding one of your light weights in each hand. And then our last one is an alternating forward lunge with a row. So weight is in my right hand. So I'm gonna step forward with my left foot. I'm gonna stay low. I'm gonna row, squeezing between my shoulder blades, bringing that weight up between my hip and my ribs. Let it go down, staying low. I'm gonna pass the weight underneath my leg. Come back to standing. Lunge on the other side, row, pass the weight under, back up to standing. So those are our six exercises. We're starting with our renegade row burpee. So grabbing your light set of dumbbells. We're gonna be in a high plank position. Row one arm, row the other arm. Feet to hands and standing to jump. So on the buzzer, we'll get going. Here we go. So row, row, jump your feet forward and jump. Trying to keep your hips level as you pick your weights up off the floor. You can leave your weights on the floor for that jump if you want to. I find it's just easier to take it with me. Last five seconds. An alternating side lunge with a halo. I'm gonna do it with my heavy weight. You can do it with either your heavy or your light, whatever is best for you. Lunging one side, circle around your head, back to center, other side, circle the other way. Good. Trying to get low in that lunge. Okay, 
keeping your core in tight as you circle. Good. Shoulder blasters, grab your light weights. I'm gonna start with five lateral shoulder raises. Here we go. One, two, three, two more, and we'll go into forward raises. Here we go. Five of these. Two more, and we'll hinge at the hips for our rear flies. Hinging forward, slight bend to your knees. One, two, three. Then we're going into Arnold. So weights are up at shoulder height. Press up, down, together, out. Up, down, good. Lateral jumps with a stutter step. So straddling your mat, trying to get your knees up high as you jump across. Think one, two, three. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Try to get your knees high as though you're jumping over a log or something that's laying on your mat. Almost done. And then into our squat thrusters. Good. So grabbing either your lighter heavy weights. Holding them at shoulder height, we're gonna squat down as we come up, pressing the weight overhead. Here we go. Squatting low, press. Keeping your chest high in these squats. There's always a tendency when you're holding a heavy weight at your chest to kind of cave over a little bit. Fight that. Send your hips back. Keep your chest high. Good. Alternating lunges with a row. I have What's up? So can you pull this cover off? You're just gonna have to wait a minute, okay? So lunging forward with one leg, row, pass your weight under, back to standing. Lunge, row, back to standing. Really getting a good squeeze between your shoulder blades as you row that weight up and then passing it underneath your body. Can you come away from the camera, please? Last second, grab your light weights. We're starting from the top with our Renegade Row Burpee. I know you're gonna have to go ride your bike that way. <clears throat> High plank position, here we go. Row. Row, feet to hands, and jump. Keeping those hips level as you row. Challenging your core here. Last five seconds. Good. Come on up into our alternating side lunges with a halo. Making sure you're alternating which side you're circling around your head. Lunging one way, stay low, circle that weight, back to standing, other side. Making sure you're not skating over at the waist again. If you find this is hard on your low back, get one of your lighter weights. Last one. Good. Grab your light weights for our shoulder blasters. Starting with five lateral raises. Eight, nine, no. One, two, three, two more. We'll go to forward raises. Bring them in front of you. One, two. Two more, and we're going into our rear fly. Hinging at the hips, slight bend to the knees. One, two, three, four, five. Into our Arnold's weights are up, down, elbows together, out, up, down, together. Good, lateral jumps with a starter step. Think one, two, three. Coming to the side of your mat, high knees. Here we go, one, two, three. One, two, three. 
Think about jumping over a log. Put some on your mat. Getting nice and high. Ten seconds. Keep that height if you can. Almost done. Good. Squat thrusters. Either you're heavy or you're lightweight. Pressing the weight overhead as you come up from your squat. Here we go. Again, we're not caving at the hips. Think about sending your butt back to get down in your squat. Ten seconds left. Then we're doing our alternating lunges with the row. Shoulders down away from your ears. Good. You're lunging with the opposite leg as the hand that you're holding the weight. My weight's in my right hand. I'm lunging forward with my left leg. Here we go. Get low, row, pass it under, back to standing. Down, row, under, stand. Get a good squeeze of those back muscles to pull that weight up between your ribs and your hips. I love what are you doing in there. Last few seconds and we're starting from the top with our renegade row burpee. Grabbing your light dumbbells. Take deep breaths. This is the last time through the circuit. Starting from a high plank. Row, row, feet, hands, and jump. Or you can just come to standing if you need to take out that jump. Row, row. Bring your feet up and jump. Try to fit in one more. Good. Come on up, grabbing your heavy weight for alternating side lunge with a halo. Weight is at your chest. Lunge down, circle around your head, back to center, circle the other way. So I think when my right leg goes out, I take the weight to my right ear. When my left leg goes out, I take the weight to my left ear. Good. Nice and controlled with that halo. Last one. Good. Shoulder blasters. Grab your light weight. Starting with five lateral raises. Good deep breaths. Here we go. Shoulders down away from your ears. Two more and we'll go into our forward raises. Bring them forward. Shoulders are still down away from your ears. Last one to our rear fly. Squeeze in between those shoulder blades. And bring your weights up for your Arnold's. Up, down, together, out, up, good. Lateral jumps with a stutter step. Try to get your knees high as you jump over your mat. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Good. Whoops, losing my balance. That's okay. 15 seconds left. Get those knees high. Grabbing your heavier weight or both your light dumbbell squats with an overhead press. Pressing that weight up as we come up from our squat. Sending your hips back first in your squat, not caving over at the waist. Fifteen seconds left, and then all we have is our alternating. Lunge with a row. Almost done, guys. Well, 
let me solve quick. <laughs> Good. Whew. Last 30 seconds. <clears throat> Weights in the opposite hand as the leg that's going to go forward. Right leg forward. Row with the left arm. Pass it under. Back to standing. Other side. Good quality rows here. Last 15 seconds. Getting low in that lunge. Last one. Get one more in. Good. All right, guys, grab a drink of water. Have a walk around. We want our heart rates down before we get down on our mat for our core work. So same idea with her core work. Six exercises, 30 seconds on with a 10 second break. But we're only gonna cycle through it twice. So it's eight minutes. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna go through and quickly demo <clears throat> these exercises. So for our first one, it helps to have something at the end of your mat, a weight standing on end or your kettlebell or even your water bottle. So we're going to come seated on our mat with our legs straddling the mat, straddling the item at the end of our mat. Hands are on the mat behind us. We're going to raise our legs up, bring them together over our item, slowly lower back down, slow and control. We're not just letting our legs flop back down. <coughs> we're going to turn over and we're going to do slow mountain climbers. So we're going to come to a high plank. We're going to bring one knee into the chest, Hold it for three seconds, put it back out, other knee in, and hold for three seconds. Try to go as slow as you can. If you want to hold it for longer than three seconds, go for it. Just hold it until you're feeling a lot of tension in your core. Then either with your heavy or light dumbbell, whatever you want, we're going to do a Russian twist with a leg extension. So for this, you can either have your feet off the ground, and as I twist to my left, my right leg is going to extend. Then back to center, other side, or your feet can be on the floor and you can extend this way. Then we're gonna come for a side plank on the right with a reach through. So I like to do it on my elbows, arm is up. You're gonna reach underneath, try to touch the back of your mat, come back up. You can also do this with a weight to make it more challenging. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the left side. And then our last one is a reverse plank. So this really works our glutes and our back. So come to seated on your mat, fingers or hands are behind you, palms on the mat, fingers pointed towards your bum. Toes, heels together so your legs are a nice solid line. We're gonna use our low back and our glutes to drive our hips to the ceiling. You can let your head fall back if you like. Really trying to clench with those glutes to get your hips high. We're gonna hold that if you can for the entire 30 seconds. So let's get set up on our mat. You can have an item at the end of your mat for your wide leg raises if you like. Have a lighter dumbbell handy as well if you want it. Start seated on your mat, leaning back on your hands, legs are straddling your item. On the buzzer, we'll get going. Here we go, bring them up and together, slow and controlled, on the way down. Pulling those abs in, Nice and tight towards your spine before you initiate the movement. Big exhales as you bring those legs up. Last five seconds. Into our slow mountain climbers. So come into a high plank position. You're gonna hold that knee into the chest for at least three seconds. Here we go. One, two, three, back down. One, two, three, and down. This gets challenging quickly, making sure we have that slight tilt under of our pelvis, protecting our low back. One, two, three, last time. Good, into a Russian twist with a leg extension. So your feet are either in the air or on the floor. 
holding a weight if you want to, or just body weight, whatever you want. Extend one leg as you twist the other side. You start with your feet in the air if you want, and then as you get tired, you feel your form starting to fail, put your feet down on the floor. We have five seconds left here, guys. Okay, coming into a side plank on the right, reaching underneath your body to touch the back of your mat. You can hold a weight in your left hand if you want to. Here we go. Arm is up, reaching underneath slowly with control, and back up. You can start with a weight if you want to, and if it gets too challenging, just drop your weight. You can also take out the twist and just hold a side plank. Last five seconds. Same thing on the left side now, switch sides. Here we go. Getting that arm up, reaching underneath and back up. Good. Halfway done, 15 seconds left. Losing my balance, there we go. Last five seconds, you got this. Keep going with that weight if you can. Then we're going into our reverse plank. Heels and toes together, legs are straight, point the toes, fingers are pointing towards your bum. Here we go. Trying to hold ourselves up here using our glutes and our low back. When you get shaky in this, it's a lot harder than it looks. Get those hips up a little higher if you can. 10 seconds left here, guys, and we're starting from the top with our wide leg raises. Almost done. Hold it. Last few seconds. Good. Come on down. You can place whatever item you had at the end of your mat. Straddling your item, leaning back. Bring your feet together with a big exhale. Slowly lower. What are you guys playing with? What are you playing with? Okay. Big exhales to bring your legs up. Last few seconds, and then we're into our slow mountain climbers. <clears throat> into a high plank position. Trying to hold that knee in for three seconds. Here we go, get set up. One, two, three. And back out. Keeping that slight tilt under of your pelvis. Thinking about bringing your hip points up towards your rib cage ever so slightly. 10 seconds left. You got this, guys. One, two, three. Last time. Good. Into our Russian twist with a leg extension. Feet are either in the air or on the floor. You can also eliminate that extension of your leg at any time. Halfway done, 15 seconds left. Core is tight. Belly button in towards your spine. Get that transverse abdominis activated here. Last five. Let's start with our side plank on the left side this time. Either holding a weight or not. Here we go. Extend that top arm up, reaching underneath to touch the back of your mat, and up. Good. Almost done here, guys. 
Two more exercises after this and we're done. 10 seconds. Last one. Onto the right side for the same thing. One more minute of hard work here, guys. And we'll do some yoga. Hips up, raising that top arm up, reaching under. Dropping that weight anytime if you need to. We've only got 15 seconds left here. Power through it if you can. Then we got our reverse plank and we're done. Last one. Dropping your weight down, come to seated. Heels and toes together. Legs are straight. Fingers pointing towards your bum. Holding yourself up here, using your back and your hips to drive yourself up, or back in your glutes, sorry, to drive your hips up. Get a little higher if you can. Arms are straight. 10 seconds. Stay up high if you can. Really clench those glutes. We got a lot of our butt today. This is the very end. Activity completed. Oh, come on down. Good job, you guys. That was a hardcore circuit. So let's get ourselves set up for some yoga. Grab a drink of water. Whew. Okay, we're gonna start our yoga today standing at the front of our mat. Inhaling as we raise our arms overhead, shoulders down away from your ears, and exhale as we send our hips back, coming into a straight-legged forward fold. We're just gonna stay here for a second. If you like, you can bend one knee and then the other. And then just let yourself hang. Grab your opposite elbows, let your head hang. Sway gently side to side if that feels good. Bring your hands down to the mat. We're gonna come down onto our knees. So we're kneeling at the front of our mat. Sitting back on your heels. Extend both arms overhead as we inhale. And as you exhale, drop your right hand down to the floor. We're gonna pull across or just rest your left hand on your right ear to get a nice little stretch of your neck on that side. Inhaling your left arm back up to the sky and then exhale as we bend over to the right to get a nice stretch in the left side of the body. This should feel really good after all of that oblique work that we just did. Now, staying in this side bend, you're going to extend your left leg out to the side, coming down to sit on your bum. You're gonna rotate the other way. So we're gonna bring our left elbow down towards the mat, right arm overhead, reaching over our head towards our left toes here to stretch it to the right side of our body. Try to twist so your belly button stays facing forward. Inhale to come up. Bringing that left leg back in so we're seated on our knees again. 
can do the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna inhale our arms up, left hand goes down to the floor, right hand to our left ear, and gently pulling, you're just putting a little bit of pressure on your head to stretch in through your neck. Releasing that. We're going to bring our right arm down to the floor again, or sorry, our left arm stays on the floor, and we're going to extend over for a side bend through the right side of the body. So staying in the side bend, we're going to come to seated on our bums, extending our right leg out to the side. Now bringing our right elbow down towards the floor, left arm overhead, extending that left hand towards your right toes. Inhale as you come up. You can bring that right leg in. Again, we're going to use our hands to get ourselves seated back up onto our knees. We're gonna bring our hands behind us on the mat and raise our hips up to stretch into the whole front side of the body. You should feel this, let your head hang back in your abs and your quads. Really press those hips up to stretch into your quads. Releasing your hips back down. We're gonna bend our right knee and extend our left leg back and we're gonna take pigeon on the right side. So trying to get your right shin as parallel to the front of the mat as you can. Mine doesn't get very far. Extending the left leg back. We're just gonna relax forward any amount as far down as you can come. You should feel a really nice stretch in that right glute. I'm just gonna breathe here for a few more seconds. Really relaxing into that right glute with every exhale. Coming up onto your hands now, we're gonna swing that left leg back around, crossing the left foot over onto the right side, or onto the side of your right knee. Left hand comes behind you. We're gonna take a spinal twist here, so raise your right arm up, bringing it across your left knee, and twist to look over your left shoulder. Coming back to face forward. Now we're going to let that left knee, your left thigh, shin, sorry, come parallel to the top of our mat and swing our right leg back, extending behind us to take pigeon on the other side. Coming forward any amount and relaxing here with every exhale, trying to relax a little bit more into that left glute. Making sure you're breathing here. Coming up onto your hands now, we're gonna swing that right leg around, bringing our right foot to the outside of the left knee for a spinal twist in the other direction. 
right hand is on the mat behind you, left arm up to the sky. Bring your left elbow across your right knee and twist to look over your right shoulder. I'm going to glue those sticks together. Can you just give me a couple more minutes, Isla? No, I I'll finish. Running. So I was running to Isla, Isla, I'm doing some yoga right now, so you just need to give me a few minutes to finish this class. Okay? So I want it to go like this. Isla, did you hear me when I said just give me a minute? So come to face forward now. We're going to bring both our knees up. So we're sitting on our bum, feet are on the mat. We're going to do seated calf cow. So holding behind your knees. We're gonna arch our back, bring our chest through, look up to the ceiling, and then we're gonna round through that back. Try and get your arms straight if you can. Get a really nice stretch through the back. Coming back up, inhale. Yeah, I'm doing some yoga right now. Okay, can you step away so people can see? Arching that back, bringing your chest through, up to the ceiling, Mom, it doesn't have any more blue. and then rounding your back, trying to get your arms straight if you can. Get a really nice stretch through that upper back. Looking towards your belly button. We're gonna do this one more time. Declan, away from the camera, please. Inhale as you come up, arching your low back, bringing your chest through, looking up to the ceiling. Last time, rounding through your back, and a really nice stretch through that upper back, looking at your belly Mommy, button. I already did it. Awesome. Now release your hands. We're going to slowly come lower ourselves down onto our mat here. Hugging both knees into your chest. We're going to circle one direction. Declan, please come away from the camera, okay? Well, first I have to yes. get my walk. the other way. Yeah, I like, I literally need two minutes, okay? And back the other direction again. And the other way. Now we're gonna keep our left, right knee hugged into our chest, extend the left leg, and then pull your right knee across your left, <clears throat> to the left side of your body, looking over your right shoulder. You guys, Isla and Declan, can you listen to you, please? Guys, can you go sit over there so that people can see what I'm doing? No. Isla Ren. Isla, take them and go sit over there. Right now. Thank you. Okay. Declan, would you go over there? Hugging yeah. both knees back into your chest. Extending your right leg down to the floor and pulling your left knee across to the right side of your body, looking over your left shoulder. Okay, so we're, so we're going to glue these two sticks together. Okay, Declan? To make it stick. Coming back through center, hugging both knees into the chest one more time for a little back massage here. Circling one way and then the other. And we're going to slowly me. rock ourselves back up to seated. You're going to make me a little swing. Not a little swing. That's our workout little for little today, swing. guys. I'm really happy you were able to join me. Uh, it's a really nice day out, so hopefully you get outside and do something outside for the rest of the day. Uh, next class will be Monday at 9 a.m. I'll have this class uploaded onto the YouTube page here shortly. Um, and I'm just gonna leave this meeting open if anyone wants to stay for a coffee. Um, afterwards, you guys can just um, unmute your microphones and turn on your cameras and we can just have some coffee. Um, otherwise, if you can't stay for coffee, no worries. I'll see you next week. Bye.